My name is Tosaya Mkwenye, I'm 22 years old and I'm a founder of an organization that is called YANA. You're not alone. YANA is the baby organization to, uh, to an organization that is called Empowering Young Mothers. So Empowering Young Mothers started in 2017 and YANA was just been born last year. There's a lot of activities that we do at Yana, uh, but I'll just explain to people that I work with at Yana. I work with children, women, and the elderly. When I'm working with the children, I work, I introduce a nursery school, there's an orphanage, and when I work with women, there's a girl child empowerment, then women empowerment programs that we meet girls and talk about different things. I'm a youth activist, also I'm a self specimen, I'm a self specimen, wow, as my age baby. Massachusetts. <laughs> business <laughs> Also, Yana has managed to reach to young girls and connecting them to mentors, people who inspire them, and yeah, and send some other kids to back to school. My name is Lucen Sukwa, a volunteer to Yana organization which is based in Dunduzo and I'm the founder of Uchimbe Robin Maternity Clinic which is based in Zuzu City. Uh, today we have discussed a lot of issues concerning sexual reproductive health with the girls. Uh, we have talked about uh, how to take care of themselves. We have talked about how to uh, improve their career goals and uh, how to self-motivate and not to look down on themselves because they can also be capable. So it was more how to take care of themselves and psychological support when they are sad, what should they do, and also reminded them on how to take care of themselves during menstrual period. Uh, it's very important for such girls to learn about their reproductive health because you know with this COVID-19, people are not doing anything, schools were closed, so we decided that these girls should do at least to know what's happening to their bodies so that they should be somewhere when they grow up they should be able to finish their school without any problem because with the teenage uh, a lot of issues concerning sexual reproductive health happens so that's why we decided to hold this program with the young girls so that we should empower them Ayana uh, has so many plans so many future plans but uh, one of the plans that I can share is that in the near future, I hope Miana will have a vocational training center, which might be a business, or as well as it's going to be an organization that is going to help the community.
lot of challenges that we meet, but I've just mentioned a few. Like sometimes people discourage us about the project, sometimes there is no funds, so the project can't move according to how we have planned it. Because people, they have different mindset, and different mentality, and you know, here it's a little area, and we find it hard like to convince people to come here and stuff. But once they come here, they are convinced and they learn different things, so they end up being interested. important for Yana to focus much on empowering these girls not only maybe on in material things but also emotionally and psychologically because we normally say that the greatest disability that a person has is the mind as a person if you limit yourself mentally then you cannot go beyond that so if we achieve that mental empowerment My word of advice to young people is that life might be hard sometimes. Like so you might meet challenges that may seem like there's no future. If you have goals, that means you have to walk in line with those goals and stay focused on school, business, business, stay focused on your business and other things. And the most important thing is finding your purpose on this earth.